Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial information you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Today we're going to talk a little bit about dribble nitrogen. And you know, it's one of the things that we, we talk with growers a lot during the year about is how are we going to put nitrogen on the planter? There's a lot of, that's a, that's a hot trend right now, putting nitrogen on the planter in some growers, and, and I get it, they want to set it up where they dribble out the back. Now, why would somebody want to dribble nitrogen out in the back? It's easy to set up on a planter and it's very economical. What are the problems with it? Well, you're leaving it on the surface, on the soil surface, and now you're exposed for nitrogen loss. So I want to show you the planter we set up this year where we're set up to test this dribble nitrogen out the back of a planter versus a conceal where we're sealing the, the nitrogen in the ground. So the picture you're seeing right now um, on the, the left is what I call the brake lines. <laughs> so we put these, these, these brake lines in to dribble nitrogen behind the planter. And again, this is super easy to set up. It's, it, it's, it's just um, very cheap, very economical to put on a planter. And I get it, but you're dropping product on top of the ground and this is what worries me. And we test this every single year to find out agronomically, is this a sound program? Are we going to lose nitrogen? Are we going to lose yield from this more economical way of applying nitrogen? Now you'll notice a Fent Momentum planter in the, in, on the slide. And this is what we did our testing with this year. So we've got the brake lines in the back and we've also got this planter set up with dual band conceal. So I can switch, I've got valves on this planter where I can switch from the, going out the dribble of the back of the planter and then, and then just to compare it to conceal. So we're running both out here in the field to find out, again, are we losing any yield by, by putting this surface application on versus putting that nitrogen in the ground and attaching it to moisture. So what does it look like when we dribble? And I thought our planter did a very nice job with those brake lines out the, the back end of the planter. Here you can see the placement is identical to conceal, three inches away from the seed trench, okay, where that seed is placed in the, in the bottom of that true V. We did it that way to, 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 to show the placement isn't the key, okay? It's just where we put it depth-wise. Now this, the banding on top, is just going to be a dribble right on top of the soil surface. And then again, we're going to compare this to, to conceal going an inch and a half deep, but that nitrogen covered up in that soil, sealed up. So this year, doing our, our dribble versus conceal test, we wanted to actually physically measure how much volatilization that we get, okay, when we dribble nitrogen on top of the soil surface. And so to do this, I had to bring in a few tools. And one of the things that we brought in this year was a Drager volatilization meter. And basically what we've got are these test tubes that can measure how much ammonia gas that we have out in the field. And so when we apply a nitrogen fertilizer, that, that nitrate is going to convert, it's going to gas off to ammonia if we don't protect it in the soil profile. So we're dribbling, we're leaving it on top of the soil surface, it's going to get sunlight, it'll get wind on it, and it's basically going to convert to a gas and then she floats, but that gas is ammonia. And that's what these test tubes are going to do for us. So in order to measure the, the, the amount of gas, the amount of ammonia, we use these test tubes in conjunction with our application point. So we go out in the field, we run the planter, we dribble the nitrogen on top, and as soon as we make the dribble application, we come and we put these PVC pipes in the ground. We put them right over those two lines of application of nitrogen. We put this PVC pipe over those points of application so we can remove the moisture. So in other words, if we don't get a rain to incorporate that nitrogen into the soil profile, what's gonna happen with it? How long will it take to gas off? In other words, turn into ammonia and, and release into the atmosphere. So we basically have this PVC pipe. We, we, we put it in the ground um, just to keep the moisture out of it. I have a foam disc. It sets right on the top of this PVC pipe. And that's where we're gonna do our testing process every three days. We're gonna do this three days after planting, six days, nine days, and 12 days. But once we put the foam disc in, we cover it with a shower cap to keep the water out. So there's no moisture can get in here. Three days after planting, we've got our, 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 our tube in the ground here, and we're gonna go in and see how much of the nitrogen actually gassed off. So what we do is we bring our test tube in, and this is from Drager. And this test tube, um, again, it, it'll tell us how much ammonia we have in, in the sample. It measures in parts per million. And I just wanna show you how this thing works. So we basically put this tube 
in a pump, okay? We have a hand pump, and we put this in, and I've got, to help understand how this thing works, I've got some 32% UAN. This is nitrogen fertilizer, just 100%, um, 32. We took it from one of our bulk tanks uh, that went into the planter. And so I wanna show you what happens is we're going to press our pump to activate the air for the suction. We grab our 32 and we're gonna drop the test tube in and we release the pump and it will pick up the amount of ammonia in the test tube. And if there's ammonia in it, it'll turn the test tube purple, which it obviously is. Okay, and I just put it in right above that 32% nitrogen. And so if we would have left that in there longer, that would have maxed it out because there, there's plenty of ammonia there. But it turns this test tube, and there, there's, there's actual uh, marks on this test tube that goes up to 100 ppm. And so what we're doing with our PVC in the field in the foam disc, we will measure, we'll put this test tube in the foam disc to measure how much ammonia is surrounded within this foam disc. And that's how we're, we're getting our values. And so we're trying to get parts per million of ammonia with just dribbling on top of the soil surface, looking at conceal, putting it an inch and a half in the soil. And then I go back to the dribble and I put, um, a nitrogen volatilization product, a stabilizer in with it called Anvil from Coke Egg Industries. And so we're trying to see if we put a stabilizer with it, knowing that we're putting nitrogen on the soil surface, will it protect us long enough till that next rain comes to incorporate that product into soil moisture. And now let's go to the data graph and show you how much ammonia we picked up three days after planting. As you look at the graph, we start off three days after planting and we were already picking up about 20 parts per million of ammonia. And this would have been ammonium that actually converted to ammonia. Okay, that's what we're trying to test in the field. Six days after planting, we almost doubled the loss and we're up to, to 35 parts per million. Nine days after planting, we're up to 50 parts per million. The trend continues. We're just, every three days we're losing more. We have nitrogen loss due to that ammonium being converted to ammonia. 12 days after planting, we're clear up over 70 parts per million. So it's clear we were gassing off. We were losing nitrogen. And this just goes to show you, if we're gonna dribble, we can have this out here if we don't get a rain to work it into the soil profile. One of the things we're trying to, to test is if, if growers are going to dribble nitrogen on top of the ground, I'd like to know if a nitrogen stabilizer will protect us long enough to get a rain to work it into the soil profile. So when it comes to nitrogen losses, there's three of them, three different kind of losses. One is volatilization, where we gas off, just like we've been talking about. Another form is leaching, where we push nitrogen down into the soil profile and we can even lose it through tile. The other form is denitrification. This is where we're saturated with water and we lose oxygen in the soil, that's denitrification. The stabilizer that we wanna look at in this study really only pertains to the volatilization, okay? The product we're talking about today is Anvil from Coke Industries. Okay, Anvil has got an active ingredient called duramide, and this is a new product that just came out in the market that we're testing here at PTI. Again, just to buy us some time, you know, it's a urease inhibitor so that that ammonium won't get converted to ammonia to buy us time until we can get a rain. All right, let's go back to our results. Here, here we're looking at the, the, the days after planting and the amount of gassing off we found. Now, I wanna show you what happens when we add the Anvil nitrogen stabilizer to this data set. Basically what we found is three days after planting, adding the nitrogen stabilizer reduced our, our gassing off by about 52%. It cut our losses in half. It did a pretty good job. Six days later, basically the same thing. It reduced it by 43%. Nine days, we're back up to 56%. 12 days right there at 50. So in general, we were cutting nitrogen losses in half by adding a nitrogen stabilizer in the anvil. And again, this is from, from Coke Agronomic Services. We also wanted to run our test tubes, checking for ammonia and conceal. All right, so now we shut the dribble off on the back of the planter. Okay, we've got our valves, we shut it off and we focus all of the nitrogen going through dual band conceal. Okay, and again, we set it up the, the, the same placement as what the dribble tu tubes were that we talked about earlier. And it was really easy to look at the losses coming from Conceal um, with our test tubes because we didn't find any at all. I mean, we were just picking up trace amounts. Um, three days after planting, we found one part per million. We go 
um, six days after planting, again, right there, one to two. We really never got over three parts per million all the way up to 12 days after planting. So it just shows you, if you can incorporate the nitrogen and attach it to moisture, we can prevent volatilization from happening at all. And Conceal did that for us. Just because it buried it, that inch and a half in the soil, the gauge wheels then collapsed that trench and protected that nitrogen from loss. So today's Inside PTI Agronomy Tip of the Day is nitrogen placement is key. And I understand why growers you know, want to dribble nitrogen out the back. Again, it's, it's cheap, it's economical, it's easy to set up on a planter. But the moral of the story today is volatilization is a loss that can happen pretty quickly. We were measuring from zero to 12 days out and we were up to 70 part per million in nitrogen losses, so it can happen quickly. Using a product like Conceal, we can bury it in the ground, protect ourselves, and it's kind of the reason, you know, one of the reasons we call Conceal that name is we seal that nitrogen in the ground to prevent it from volatilization losses. So if you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or check us out on the website at precisionplanning.com. Well, that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks for watching.